I'm Mary from Agile English Center, and today I'm going to give you some useful tips for the starters Cambridge English test in listening and speaking. Let's go. Number one, identifying T and T in number pronunciation. So what is the difference between them? Normally, we pronounce T, T with long vowel E, T. Let's practice. 15, 15, 18, 18. How about T? We usually pronounce T with short vowel E, T, T. Let's practice. 50, 50, 80, 80. Number two. Normally, in listening part two, there will be a conversation between two people. And I think you may find it hard to remember to catch the words. So, please try to remember the tip. So when you first listen to the speaker, Please write down the name spelled or the numbers as fast as you can because you may miss them. And later, you check it again in the second time of listening. Now, let's move on to an example. What's the name of the school? Here, please focus for me the two keywords, name and school. And remember, in this part, you mustn't write a whole sentence in your answer, but one word only. One word, okay. Now, let's listen to the recording. What's the name of your school? It's New School. New School. Is that N-E-W? Yes, that's it. Number three, in listening part three, there is a conversation between two people in five questions and there are also some tricks that will make you get it wrong. So first, what you gotta do is to identify the keywords. What are the keywords in your question? Maybe animal, maybe objects, maybe action. And when you listen, there are some other keywords that help you to recognize the answer, like no, not, or oh. For example, no, I like crocodile. Now, let's move to an example for you. What is Alice doing here? Have you identified the keywords? What is Alice doing? Let's check. Okay, the keyword is is and doing. Please stick to them. And now, let's listen to the recording. What is Alice doing? What is Alice doing this morning? Is she playing tennis? Not today. So, is she playing hockey? No, she's playing baseball in the park today. Okay, can you guess it? Let's listen one more time. What is Alice doing? What is Alice doing this morning? Is she playing tennis? Not today. So, is she playing hockey? No. She's playing baseball in the park today. So the answer is A. Yeah. No, she's playing baseball today. Now, let's move on to speaking. Okay, and if you want to get high scores in speaking skills, please remember these tips. Number one. When 
you enter the speaking test room. At the beginning, please remember to make greetings to your examiners, like hello, hi, and ask the question, what's your name? Like, my name is, when you are asked. And don't forget to say thank you and goodbye when you leave the room to make a good impression on your examiners. Two, be confident. So, if you can't hear your speaker, your examiners very well, don't be shy to ask your examiners to repeat the question by using the questions like, Sorry, can you repeat the question? Or you can say, Sorry, can you slow down, please? And remember, you need to use the questions once or twice if you can't hear your examiners well. Be complete. So when you are asked a question, try to answer in a whole sentence and add some details like what, why, when, and where. What, maybe cats, dogs, pen, car, many things. Why, because it's lovely, because it's delicious, like that. When, maybe at 3 o'clock in the evening, or every day, and where, at home, at school, in the library, something like that. Now, let's move on to some examples. Okay, let's get down to the question. What animals do you like? Ta-da! What is it? It's a cat. Do you like cats? Yes! Do you know, some of my students usually answer the question like Cats, cats, but cats is not the way we answer in Stanton's Cambridge English test. It's better for you to answer like I like cats, they are lovely. Good luck.